Trump gets unmuzzled, DeSantis implodes. Hi, I'm Pastor Marty. Welcome to the Afternoon Drive, which features my rants, my ravings, and my undeniably flawless reasonings. Hey, make sure you're a subscriber to the channel. Once you are, smack the bell, click the word all. That gives you notification of all of my postings. And then please like and share this video. That's how we get the word out that we're here. Now, I warn you, I am probably going to say something that makes you mad. And if I don't, then I'll feel like somehow I failed. I don't care if I make you mad, as long as I make you think. Welcome to the Afternoon Drive for Thinking People. Well, as you know, 45, soon to be 47, President Donald J. Trump is the four-time indictment champion. He's got four separate cases Everything from some lunatic woman in New York City who claims he grabbed her in a dressing room with a cashier right on the other side of the door. We've got a documents case. He was waving around top secret documents. I hate to cloud the issue with facts, but after all, you know, he is, uh, at the time, the president of the United States and therefore had the full authority to declassify anything he chose. Recently, Chink Uger, Chunk Yogurt, however it is you say his name, that lying grifter, was on with Tim Pool, and he was screaming about, you know, Donald Trump waving around top secret, you know. See, Chink, this is why you really need to keep your mouth shut. First of all, it's obvious you're unhinged, and I guess if I looked in the mirror every day and saw that looking back at me, I might go through life hating life as well. But, uh, your, your limited knowledge and understanding of the Constitution is absolutely just mind-numbing that you have influence online. I know you're running for president. What a grift that is, because you're book-bombed, and this is a way for you to raise money for your uh, starving for real financial gain of the Young Turks. You, you blew the money you were given. So you need a new grift, a new way to tr somehow drum up support because you've killed your own brand. You've killed your, your, everything that you said you stood for. You don't. You, you, you went after Jimmy Dore, be over forced the vote because all of your talk, and that's all you are, Chank, you're nothing but talk. You bloviate, you puff your chest out, you scream, you yell. You're, you're an unhinged loon. But talking about Donald Trump waving that, that top secret around in prison. He has the constitutional authority, Chank, to declassify anything he chooses. And that same constitution that you don't understand says because of your birth status, you're not a natural citizen of the United States. You're naturalized. You're an immigrant who became a citizen. You are ineligible. I'm going to take it all the way to the Supreme Court. You can't even get on any of the ballots anywhere. That's what a buffoon you are. But I digress. Um, Donald Trump, of course, has been facing all of these indictments, and uh, one of the judges decided to slap a gag order on him, that he wasn't allowed to say anything mean about that judge, the judge's staff, or any of the potential witnesses. Now, this is interesting because it's in the middle of a presidential campaign where the guy running for president, who is far and above in the lead, that's a hint, Ron DeSantis. He's far and above in the lead. Ron DeSantis whining all weekend long that uh, Donald Trump is nowhere to be found in the up-and-coming debate. You did see the recent polls that say 75% of voters now think debates are a waste. 75%. You get you 10 guys up there, everybody's yelling, talking over the top of each other. Nothing is being accomplished to you. It's You get a couple of people up there, you might be able to have a real debate. You get more than four up there, it's a clown show. And the truth is this, Donald Front is so far out in front of all of you, coming to a debate would mean having to turn around and come all the way back. And I realize, Ron, based on, you know, 
the fact that you have to wear lifts because your stubby little feet and your big cowboy boots because of your stubby little legs, uh, you really have a hard time keeping up with the grown-ups. Well, Donald Trump doesn't really want to have to slow his campaign all the way down and circle back and come back where you guys are. I, I know this is hard for you to, to get, Ron, and I'll get to you and, and the fact that you're imploding in, in, a, in a couple of minutes. But let me get back on this gag order that in the middle of this presidential campaign, a judge basically saying what a potential candidate, the number one potential candidate that we can now say in the country, because he is beating Joe Biden in every poll now, um, it's, it's interesting because this is a test of the freedom of speech for a presidential candidate. So a U.S. Court of Appeals in the D.C. Circuit stepped in on Friday and has temporarily lifted the gag order. But it's only temporary because the Trump defense team will have to appear before a three-judge panel on November the 20th. And all three judges, of course, are Democratic appointees. Now, the reason that this judge inflicted this gag order to begin with on Trump is that his comments, quote, undermine confidence in the justice system. Pardon me for just a moment. Let me respond to that. <laughs> no. Donald Trump's comments are not what undermine confidence in the justice system. It is the justice system itself which undermines confidence in the minds of the American people. Because it is blatantly clear there are two sets of laws. Those on the inner circle can do whatever they want. The law be damned. And those of us who are not part of the inner circle, and a Donald Trump, even though he was a billionaire, he's not your billionaire, he was never part of your muck, he's not part of the ruling class establishment, he's on the outs with the rest of us. So what undermines your credibility, what undermines our having any confidence even remotely in this justice system, is you. Because if there was real justice, Hillary Rodham Clinton would be in jail. Anthony Fauci would not be considered Saint Fauci or a hero in this nation. War criminals like Dick Cheney would be in prison right now. So Donald Trump's tweets, Donald Trump's comments do not in any way undermine confidence. The actions of the Justice Department, which is weaponized for political hit jobs against the opposition to the globalist agenda. That's what undermines our confidence. Now, Ronnie DeSantis. Uh, Bootgate really has become kind of a thing for him, and you can tell he's so cringy when, when he's asked about it. He doesn't even know how to like laugh it off. And again, everybody, not just moi, although I said it first, Ronnie, just take your boots off and show everybody that there's no lifts in there. The fact that you won't, and again, watching those things flip like clown shoes. I mean, Ronald McDonald uh, shoes didn't flip like that. Um, it is what it is. Uh, DeSantis is a train wreck, and it's sad. It's sad. Um, he had accomplished a lot in Florida. Well, let's put it this way, and I was the first one to point this out. Two years ago, the conservative legislative body of Florida accomplished a lot that uh, Ron DeSantis has taken credit for. I told you this before, and I'm going to explain it again for you, you DeSantisites out there. Ron DeSantis is not the conservative that you think he is. He barely won election the first time. Barely. Barely. Uh, Rick Scott was hugely popular, and Ron DeSantis was uh, going to get beat by the, the, the crack mayor of Tallahassee. It was Donald Trump's endorsement and those of us who were in conservative media in the Florida market at the time that dragged Ronnie Boy across the finish line, literally. And once he was in office, he was your typical uh, middle-of-the-road GOP type of politician. His response to COVID was just like Andrew Cuomo and everybody else. He was closing beaches, closing schools. There were going to be mandates, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. 
it was when Pastor Rodney Howard Brown in Tampa refused to close his church of 5,000. And the TV cameras were rolling when the state police walked in and arrested him and dragged him out of his own church in front of 5,000 live parishioners being televised around the nation that members of Team DeSantis went to the governor and said, this is not a good look. This is going to kill us with the evangelical right, you think? And it was then that he began to lift restrictions in Florida. He was doing the same thing as Gavin Newsom. Don't, don't let him take this victory lap that he had everything figured out about COVID and, and he was on top of it before anybody else. The whole reason Florida was open, the whole reason Florida did so well was not because of DeSantis, but in spite of him. He was at least smart enough to listen to his legislative body. And all of the great policies and things that have been passed there were not his ideas or his initiatives. It is all from the conservative electorate of Florida. And I told you this before, Ron DeSantis will not go to Washington and do there what he did in Florida. First of all, there aren't that many conservatives there that will help him. And let's not forget, he is deep state. And let's not forget that he organized and legalized the torture of Gitmo. That was his whole gig with JAG to establish the policies of, uh, what, do they, what do they call that? Uh, enhanced interrogation? Torture. Torture which when she was still in her right mind, apparently, uh, you know, Dianne Feinstein had no problem with. None of the Democrats did until it became politically expedient for them not to be. So that's Ron DeSantis, and he is imploding. He, he, his, his whole launch to his campaign was awful when he did it on Twitter. It was a, a glitch, and it bombed, and we broke the Internet. no. Your, your campaign has been broke from the beginning. You, you, you are just inept, and it's sad. You could have been the heir to Donald Trump after his next term in office. But instead, uh, you let the rhinos, you let the, the Krispy Kreme Christies talk you into running, and uh, this has all but destroyed you. you. You have become a walking joke and a parody of yourself. And that's sad, but so be it. Now get out of the way. It's This is a, a real race. It requires the big boys now. And um, uh, not only can't you put on your big boy pants, but apparently you can't even put on big boy shoes without lifts. So uh, DeSantis is done. Trump is ungagged and things are just heating up.